sad at a time like this. But one also takes his mind back. Look at all that has happened. And I said, we thank God for his life. We thank God for what he's done for Ghana. We were with him for many years. I was with him for many years, throughout the 19 years. I knew what he meant for Ghana. I knew what he had in mind for Ghana. He played his part. He, I always refer to that slogan called uh, the decade that ended the decay. When he took over, when he came onto the scene in 79, this country was on a downward spiral. But he, he stood up, he came into the picture, and he did his best in the circumstances. He was human, he had his own foibles and failings, but on the balance, I think this country has been the better off for, uh, for his life. What are some of the fondest memories you remember throughout the 19 years you were with him in government, etc.? Too many of them. Way too many of them, and I can't start recounting them. But I know that one thing, the man was a taskmaster. He will put you to the most difficult task as a measure or to measure your loyalty, to measure your ability, your competence, etc. And uh, he brought out the best in all of us who worked with him. He brought out the best for all of this thing. And the one good thing was that he, he was not afraid to bring new people into the, uh, uh, into the into positions. I was a young man in my 20s when he brought me into the, the, the picture. Uh, much as I had had uh, some, something to do with national politics as a student leader, but I still came in with very little experience in governance. He was prepared to, that we can make our mistakes, to allow our mistakes. But once he knew that you were acting with sincerity and with thoughtfulness, he was prepared to, to let it go. So I think that he's played his part. What are some of the lessons that younger politicians of today can draw from the illustrious life of the late former president? That we should all be inspired by principles, that we should all be there, should all be inspired by a common desire for the common good. That is what propelled us. We were imbued with a certain kind of idealism. We wanted to look at a larger picture. What is it that Ghana wanted? What is it that Ghana needed? And I think that that is what takes a, a country forward. Um, and I'm proud to have belonged to that generation. That I, I, I believe that we, we work with our chests out, with our heads high, because we serve this country with integrity. We serve this country without thinking of our personal rewards. 